Well, it's the ca uh, court case the entire world is watching. And as the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard enters its fifth week, the actress is back in the witness box. Now, Depp is suing his ex-wife for 70 million bucks over an opinion piece she wrote in 2018 about domestic violence. Heard is counter-suing, telling the jury about the abuse she faced during the pair's relationship. You know, I had the whole relationship been blamed for everything, for his drinking, for him hitting me, for everything in between, blamed for walking away, blamed for staying, no matter what I did, no matter what I did, still hit me. Heard wants $100 million, claiming she was only ever violent with Depp in self-defence or in defence of her younger sister. We're joined now by US broadcaster Cooper Lawrence. Morning to you. Amber Heard, back on the witness stand. What have you made of her performance? It's very interesting because I was really hoping that she was going to bring something other than her narrative that was rehearsed. And I knew that the cross-examination was going to be tough because she was going to be getting questions that she wasn't prepared for. But I had no idea Jeb's attorney was just going to wipe the floor with her. Because what he did, he what, what she did was she was very smart. She used her own words against her. She didn't just say, this is hearsay or you said this and what do you mean? She literally found every single video and audio and writing writings and everything she could possibly find to say, well, here's something that contradicts this statement you made. Here's something else to contradict this statement you made. So using your own words against you is just, it's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. And I think it went a lot worse for Amber Heard than she was expecting. Yeah, how, how has Amber Heard been coping with this? The, the, the real blowtorch from, the, uh, uh, from Depp's attorney? You know, it's interesting because anyone else would cower under this, but she's defiant, she's aggressive, she's hostile. You know, it's it, the problem is she's not coming across like a domestic violence victim. She's coming across like an aggressor. She's being sarcastic. She's being rude. She's being, I, I get that she's in a very vulnerable position, but Never she's countering it with anger. She's not countering it with um, honesty and something that it just it just doesn't feel like if, if you were being asked these questions at some point you might break down you might say you know yes that was a terrible thing but that's not how it was supposed to go instead she's like well what do you mean and she's just been really obnoxious the whole time so it's a strange response to uh, a situation that you're trying to defend yourself and trying to explain how you've been victimized okay Cooper on the flip side um, is there a way domestic violence victims should act and should we be telling her to act for instance um, she was saying I had to go on a TV show and I had a bloodied lip and I had bruises on my face and I needed the makeup artist to come and cover those up uh, and then they made her look like a liar because there was makeup covering that up you know things like that well, they did find people who saw her that day beforehand and said that I didn't see any bruises on her and she said that they were lying. So it's it's her word against theirs. It's not that there's a way that domestic violence women and men really should act on a stand, victims should act on a stand. There's a great deal of research that shows how they do act. They don't want to look at their abuser. Instead, Amber Heard is glaring at Johnny Depp. You know, they... they She's not behaving like somebody who's been victimized. She's behaving like somebody who's just really incredibly angry. I'm in New York. I'm being pulled over. Sorry for the for the sirens. <laughs> um, but you know, it's it's. Um, for, I've after being on your show, a lot of your wonderful viewers reached out to me who have been victims themselves, and they have said that this is not this is not at all how. Um, it feels for them and it just what? feels disingenuous to them and they feel yeah. angry that she's using their pain to really to make money. Wow, wow. that is fascinating, isn't so. it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cooper, we really value your insight and thank you very much because we know you have a lot of uh, knowledge in this and you've been watching it closely. Thanks for your time this, this morning. Thanks for having me again. Mm.